time for the adventure of Sir Daniel Fortescue. Will he be able to save Galomir? Let us find out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Void. I'm Player One. I'm Player Two. And welcome back to Medi Evil. We found the part. Yeah, last time we were in the Scarecrow Fields and we just kind of ran through. We missed, we missed the part. It was literally right in here. It was just like a little side path off of the, um... Jesus Christ, how do we get a thousand? I don't know. It was just this little side path off of the little grinder section. So now we have to make it back. So let's, uh, let's hope we can do that. Also, finally, I can now use my stick. Ha ha he. I still can't use my touchpad though. Don't ask me why. But I, I think most of the controller is better than none. So, so yes. So we just gotta make it back to uh. Yeah, we gotta make it back to the barn. Back it back, back to the past, Samurai Jack. Gotta get back, back to the past. Oh, oh, oh. That, that was my bad. Why is that an instant kill? Well, sir, do you think you'd be, you th do you think you'd survive more than a second if you got caught in that thing? I mean, me, no, but Dan is just bone. Exactly, there's less flesh to cushion the blow. This part sucks. Squimch. Squimching. Oh, fuck, ah, fuck, ah, fuck, ah, fuck, ah, fuck. Why is he here? Go, man! Okay. Okay. Just, just chill. Dumbass getting caught on shit. Just chill out. Okay. Back in here. Gotta... God, I wish we could regenerate health. Fucking bats. Charge up. Also, that bum-ass scarecrow destroyed our silver shield. God damn it. What? Hang on. A cog is a Dan's best friend. What the hell does that mean? He's gay. Leave it at that. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, time for... Annihilation. Ew, why is it a spider? Why aren't you a spider? Because I'm a fish. Right. Oh, wait, wait, go back. Ha ha ha. There we are. The suck. Oh, uh, yeah, give me that good ground juice. And there's ancient vials over there. Okay. Yet we have not gotten the chalice. Gotta go kill some scarecrows. On the bright side, we know they can burn. Yeah, we do know they can burn. So. We are full up. Let me take this. Let's go say hello to our friend over here. It'd be funny if we could burn the wheat fields. 
And there goes the shield. And there goes the fire. You really gotta... What the f- what the fuck? What the fuck? Camera. Thank you, camera. Run, Chef Boy RD, run! Okay, where's the fucker? Okay. Now just run away and let him die. He's not on fire anymore. You're in the field, you're in the field! Ah! Putting us in the field, you oaf! I'm not doing it! I'm not talking to you! Oh, you're talking to Dan. Okay. 97. 97. Um... There must be one more thing somewhere. Uh, at the beginning. At the beginning. We didn't kill two at the beginning. At the beninging. At the... At the... At the beninging. Okay. Is there fire close by? Oh wait, can we cheese this? Sir. Oh, can they not go out here? Put on daggers. Does the crossbow do more damage? I wonder. There we are. The chalice can now be collected. Thank God. Let us go get our prize. I wonder what, uh... I wonder what's actually in the cornfield. Well, you said it last time. It's like the Children of the corn. Oh, well, you, you gotta go through all those grindy bits again. Yes. Should be fine, though. There's no more money to tempt us. This part still sucks, though. Right, you got two vials. You should be okay. Okay. All right, and that's the mm. end. Done with the scarecrows. I hope. I wonder what we're gonna get this time. What is a prize? Who are we talking to? We're we talking to a new guy? Seems yeah. like yes. Big sword? In a broad sword. Fortis you, you jawless arrow magnet. What are you doing back here? What? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you. Still, I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. 
Take my sword, and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not cut from hero material. <laughs> this guy's kind of a dick. Woden. Broadsword. Oh! Hang on, wait a second. This looks sexy. Our durability, our durability, our durability. Why does it have durability? It just go. Oh, that fucking sucks. Uh, I guess. How do we get the durability back? Maybe we can buy it. We can buy it for a hundred. I guess that now with added magic, enchant the broadsword. Okay. Well then, I guess we should use it sparingly. God damn it! Wait. So if we, what happens when it runs out of enchantment? Can't use it anymore. I guess it's like the master sword in Breath of the Wild. All right. There's Scarecrow Fields done now. Um, we got two more selections. Pumpkin Gorge, And then, uh, something about Sleeping Village, I believe. Yes. Well, there's also the, uh, Enchanted Forest. Yes. I do think we need another MacGuffin before we can do that, though. You're a MacGuffin. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what do you think? Pumpkin. Mm. Sleeping village. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we go cut down some possessed folks. This town was once so lively. What is the opposite of lively? Deadly? Yes, that is what this town is now. Why do they have guns? Oh, they got a blunderboss. Oh. Poor oh. oh, villagers, the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. So don't hurt the villagers? Hmm. Well, that seems like a child with a giant axe. I do kind of want to bonk her. Oh, nice. It looks like we gotta find a cross. I see. Crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Okay. Why does Daniel look at us whenever we read a book? He just twists his head everywhere. It's kind of funny. Oh, Lord. Oh, a good soul has been lost. Okay, that that took away our chalice progress. So, uh, so, so don't kill the villagers. Wait, why was it already at 57? I don't know. Uh, get away from me, small child. Why, why can I not move the camera? Oh. Oh. Child must be real confused. Okay. Uh, there's a thing there. Is there anything there? Oh, kill the child. Trying not to. I wanted to smack the door down. Hmm? 
me de ahí. Blacksmith's Monthly. Uh -huh. Old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded Smithy of the Season by our readers. His outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work and is particularly noted for his magnificent busts. <laughs> oh. Old man Willie was quoted as saying, I, when I get pumping on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm, up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stan, your iron hero, <laughs> the greatest smithy there ever was. Why was that? Horny coated. Oh, thank you, thank you. Is this doing anything? I think we need to put something on it. Hmm. Oh. What would we put on it? Oh, fish. I no, guess. we don't put the fish on it. I guess we don't have the thing yet. Okay, put that in the brain bank. Ow. Sir, I don't think it's good for you to be charging that up. We haven't seen an enemy we can kill yet. I mean, we have, but... None that we're supposed to. Partial to the potions. 32 health vials. Oh good, I, I, I just knocked the children out. Oh, Olga. Okay, that's that's Moon. Olga, move away from the door. That's that figured out. What do we need the moon room for? Don't know. All right. Um. What's down here? We've already gone this way, haven't we? Yes. Okay. Just trying to mentally map out this place. Where have we not gone? Sack? Sack place? Oh, there you go. There's an Olga. Secret trapdoor?
Why are we in here? What can we do? Oh. Okay. Do we... Is there a movable box? Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Why is Dan's head spinning like that? Creepy dungeon. Don't break all the barrels just yet. Okay. These brows we break. Club refill, okay. Nasty fish. There's another Olga. We don't have the green one, do we? Mr. Shanks, landlord of the Troll's Head. To clean the statue, lower the pedestal. Shanks? Uh, How do we lower the pedestal? Sir, why do you keep charging up the hammer? No, we need to get in there. One strike knocks him out. Grab this. Gadaddle skadoodle. Your dick is a noodle. You are playing with fire, sir. Okay, now we have a, a sh bust of Mr. Shanks, for some reason. Remember what they said at the smithy? Oh, his bursts. His bursts. Why would we need to smithy it? Hmm. Well, let's see. We still have the red one we haven't used yet. Oh, Lord. Sorry, comrades. Tear this place apart. If we don't find the shadow artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Why are they Soviet? Why aren't you? Because this is medieval, like, Europe. Why is it already at 61? It started at, at like, up there. Okay, these boys are kind of beefy. Oh, red. Huh. Well, let's go to the smithy first. Okay. That's, that's the church. Oh, I think we're gonna turn the bust into a. Uh... Oh, okay. I I I see ya. Maybe not. Hmm. All right, but since we've learned from Scarecrow Fields, it seems like you can do everything in a level with the stuff in the level. Usually. 
not, not, no. History of Galomir, Volume oh. One. During the dark time that was Galomir's not too distant past, it was King Peregrine who thwarted Zerok the Necromancer and his plan to enslave the land. Zerok, once the king's mage, had fallen out of favor with the ruler for conducting outlandish experiments on the bodies of the dead. It was said that deep within Peregrine Castle, the dead were restless. The dead are to be honored, not kept as the playthings of alchemists, declared King Peregrine as he banished Zerok from the castle. All of Zerok's living dead were routed out and destroyed. Zerok, being an unforgiving soul, went into hiding and vowed to wreak his revenge on the king. Okay. Lore. Very cool. Uh, that's volume three. Okay. You think it'll, it'll matter if we kill one guy? I don't think it will. History of Galamir, volume two. Rumors of ill doing and dark. We're going to call this episode Lore Dump. It was whispered that Zerok had employed the aid of shadowy demons to help build a vast castle. Under the cover of night, Zerok's dark army spilled forth from the corrupt haven. The army marched south across the Silver Mountains and through the Silver Woods. Soon afterwards, even the pumpkin lands belonged to Zerok. The folk of Gallows Town cried out for help. Save us, good King Peregrine. Retaliation was swift and violent. King Peregrine's forces, led by the brave Sir Fortescue, drove Zerok's army back from Gallows Town. Oh, there was much rejoicing, but the war was not yet over. All right. History of Galomir, Volume 3. News that Xerox's army had now taken the floodlands caused much concern. From this vantage point, Xerox could march west to take the enchanted forest. This sacred place would prove a bitter defeat if it fell into the hands of the evil sorcerer. It was Sir Dan Fortescue who once again led the king's militia to rid the demon host from the land. Yet the evil wizard was cunning and had prepared an ambush. Titanic battle ensued, of which history has never seen the like. It is said that the day would have gone to Zerok, but for the skill and valor of one man. Fortescue led the charge deep into the massed ranks of the undead, felling Zerok's bodyguard, the fearful Lord Kodok, and before finally succumbing to his own mortal wounds, slew the traitorous sorcerer with a mighty sweep of his sword. Okay, who's writing history like this? We died immediately. So, you know, you know what probably happened? Hmm. Some of, uh, some of our hero friends from when we were alive probably were like, no, no, let's let's get this. Let's make this man a legend. It, it, the, the, he got done dirty. Because even then, Canny Tim, he said he defeated Cardock. History of Galamia, Volume 4. The forces of evil were destroyed, but at a terrible price. None but a handful of the king's militia returned from that field. Galamir lost a whole generation of young men that day, including Canny Tim, the legendary crossbowman, and Fortescue's second in command, who fell in the first volley of arrows. Xerox's body was never found, though if it lies unmourned in an unmarked grave, then no one in Galamir would shed a tear. The shadow demons that had fallen under Xerox's banner were unnatural creatures that did not belong in the world of mortal men. The king declared that they be banished, entombed under the pure earth of the enchanted earth. Imprisoned within an impregnable box of the king's design, the demons were buried deep underground. 
Their tomb was sealed with a magical device that has since come to be known as the Shadow Artifact. Okay, so that's what they said they were looking for, and they got their whole team at Enchanted Earth. All right. Tourist sky to Galamir, oh. part one. The land of Galamir is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights and adventure. If it's beauty you are looking for, be sure to check out the sights of the enchanted forest. Scale the heights and see the nests of giant dragon birds. Dragon bird? Seek out weird and wonderful plant life. Go ooh and ah at the sight of baby dragon toads splashing about in the crystal clear ponds. Dragon toad? Why not take a walk through the pumpkin valley? Pumpkin is Galomir's favorite dish, and about now the valley is just bulging under the weight of young podlings awaiting harvest. Mm. Heroes from History, a retrospective. Chapter 1. In addition to being the strongest man who ever lived, Stanier Ironhewer was unsurpassed in his skill as a blacksmith. He was equally happy pounding on his anvil at home as he was pounding on someone's head in battle. It was said that his only fear was the end of the village smithy as the focus of manufacture in favor of more centralized units. <laughs> as if. As if, right? Um, lady? Chapter 2. Dang. Born a humble peasant to one of the nomadic tribes from the Eastlands, Blood Manas Skullcleaver gathered an army of horsemen and swept over half the civilized world. When he finally died, attempting a single-handed attack on a garrison in the north while armed only with a spike on his helmet, he was the richest and most powerful peasant of his day. Okay, so this just seems to be all the heroes in the hall. I see. Eh. Tourist Guide to Galamir, Part 2. If it's mystery you're looking for, then the seasoned adventurer should travel to the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Oh. Yes, this is the fortress from which the fabled King Peregrine once hailed. It is said that the king's crown was lost in the dungeons below the castle, and that the ghost of the regent himself now haunts these cold stone passageways. Spooky. Why not take the swamps and seek out the mythical town of Mellowmead? This place was once said to be a place of fantastical arcane alchemy, but an age has passed since it was consumed by the murky swamps. Perhaps great treasure awaits any adventurer that can locate its watery resting place. Okay. So we gotta find the king's crown. We gotta go to Mellowmead. Cut. No. Oh, haha! Ah, uh, cast. Brown. It, it, it's a, it's a cast. Okay. To whom it may concern, I must make haste, for Xerox men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is the key to a key. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. Okay, W mayor. Okay. Alright, nice little lore dump. Now we go to the church. Oh wait, nope, first we go to the smithy. There it is. Mm-hmm. And then... Oh. What a boom. 
Alright, there we are. I really like how this game does puzzles. Hell yeah. Alright, now let's see what we get. Okay, it, it was a key. To that, okay. Dear Sir and Madam, on my travels across Galamia, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with deepest dread was discovery of the tomb of the shadow demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. Yours fearfully, the town mayor. W mayor, W mayor. Okay. You really just killed a rat, huh? Yes. Um, another door opened though, right? When the, the things came in. Oh, well there's the chalice. So the trick with these guys is to just keep circling around them. We're gonna die. Camera, please, camera. Okay, the chalice is over there. Can we jump that? Oh, that's a wall. Oh, thank you. Okay, we just gotta find a couple more men. Ah, uh, yes. Men. Men. Men, 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 men. It seems like there is no more at this current juncture. Well, there is also a small path down yonder. I, I think. Mies was mistaken. What is up here? Wait, why can't we go through the front door? I don't know. We can go through the chimney, though. Yoink. Meow. Lever. Need to be safe. Okay, that opens that door. That seems like the exit. Shadow artifact. Oh, it's a hat. Uh, I'd have fucking grab my nuts with that claw. Oh no. I don't think you would want that. Alright, what door was that? Where was that? Oh, right. Okay, who? Oh, who, who, who? I was right to change to broadsword. We should be good. There shouldn't be any any boys left. No, only men. Men. Men and tights. 
Oh, merry I've men. I've only seen that movie once. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Men in Tights. No, no, it was a Robin Hood thing. Shrek. Capture that greedy profiteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. You. Locate the shadow artifact. Bring me back something nice. Oh, that was a to-do list from Z from Zarok. Yeah. Zabak. Zarok. Zarok. He sounds like a Don John Johnson. <laughs> sounds like a yeah 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 yeah. Gaining allies in the hall of the heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop. Off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. I think I read there was only like 20 something chalices, which means there's only like 20 something levels. Well, considering how long it's taking to get through each. You must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon! Oh. I'll take a he for likes that. us. It's money. Money. I could have done with some health, but I guess that's fine. Just top up. All right, good. Okay, there we go. Two levels done and diddly dusted. So the difficulty is most definitely ramping up now. Now we can go to the. the well, we haven't. We didn't die that entire level, so we we are awful. We <laughs> we almost died a couple times though. All right, but I think, I, I think with that, we'll end it there. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we check out uh, whatever the hell this place is. What is this place? The Asylum Grounds. Whoa. I, uh, I actually want to go to the pumpkin fields this time. Yeah. Oh, we can go to the we can probably complete the Enchanted Forest because we have the Shadow Artifact. Maybe. Let's go down this whole path first. All right. Okay, Dad. I am your dad. You are not my father. I'm your daddy. I will break you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.